Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have something a bit different for you. I have a journal page. I made this journal page on the 31st of December so it was a way of welcoming in the new year. You can probably see that my background paper already has some texture on it and that is because whenever I have leftover texture paste or anything I take out a journal page and I actually use up all my leftover texture paste and just put it onto a page ready for when I decide that I want to do some journaling. So what I did off screen, I did gesso my whole uh, piece of paper because the actual stenciling that I had done with some texture paint was a very bright colour. So by gessoing it, I actually achieved two things. I protect my paper, but I also covered up all that colour that wasn't going to work with this slate with not this layout, sorry, this journal. So I decided that this journal page was going to be all about my favourite colours. So that's why you see the blue and then I added some very light mint colour. And this little box here that I'm using now, that is my little scrap bits and pieces. And it's where I put any leftover or butterflies or anything that I've got left over from projects. It goes into what I call my little journaling box. And I must admit, last year I did absolutely no journaling. I was just so busy with other things that I let my journaling side of things go. And also my journaling is a bit of a private thing. I don't normally share it, but I've decided that I'm going to be a bit more adventurous this year and let my followers get to know me a little bit more. So once uh, my paint had dried, I went in and I just spritzed it with some distress spray stain. I think it was shabby, shabby shikit shabby shakers, shabby, shabby shutters by memory and because of the fact that I've got that gesso there protecting it I can just wipe off whatever I don't like any of the drips and I like to use my mat as my little leftover thing so that that way I'm picking up all my paints and that's what you saw me doing there I was just picking up any leftover shabby shutters spray stain. So most of this journal will just be using up all those little bits and pieces which I like to call my little journaling box. And then I went into some of my stash. So for this journal, I basically used up everything that was on my desk. I saw this little packet of ephemera, so I decided I was going to see what was in it. And I pulled out some of the leaves and I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted to use so when in doubt move on to something else and I decided to add some stamping. I'm using the Copy Archival Link and just an old Kaiser Craft background stamp and you know just stamping everywhere randomly not really thinking about it and that's what I love about journaling I can just create and not think. Then I decided that yes I loved these little um, leafy ephemeras but obviously they were the wrong colour so I'm just using what's on my desk and that some of these spray stains and whatever was there I think this is a Kaiser Craft one that I'm using I'm not really sure and I wasn't thinking I just went yes it's green colour it in and get it down so back to my little ephemera bag to see what's there I started pulling out a few more things love that circle and it I believe it says oh I can't even remember what it says and looking at it now, it says live in the moment and yes, exactly, that's what I want 2020 to be, all about living in the moment. So once again, on my desk, I had this little piece of a doily, so you know what, I thought what better time to use it than now, so I land up sticking that down, decide that I want to put another leaf to my layout and yeah, basically this is how this whole journal comes about. I didn't pre-plan it, I just thought, you know what, use what's on a desk. I did take out a few items beforehand because I didn't want to be looking for things as I was in my creative process. So I got out some of my sprays, I got out some of my paint, in all in the colours, all my favourite colours, so mainly in blues and greens. And uh, that was it, everything else. I just, you know, looked around, saw what was there, looked up, looked looked everywhere because I've got stuff surrounding me everywhere and I am really happy with what I've created. Then I decided that I had to add a bit more yellow to this layout. Or I keep saying layout, I'm so used to saying layout because that's what I normally do. That, you know, journal page, journal page, my gosh, is it ever going to sink into my brain? 
Now, this is one thing that I do like to do when I'm journaling. I usually have a lot of leftover product on my mat. So as you can, at the start, you will have seen that I would have picked up just what was on my mat. And because I go with usual, sometimes some color schemes, I like to just pick up and it gives you different tones and varieties. It's sort of a cheat way of doing my journaling, but it just gives us, or it gives me a bit more of a color variation, just picking up what was there. As long as I'm making sure that the colors that I've got down on my mat, if they're mixing with anything else, won't make a muddy color. I'm quite happy to go along with that. And from my little, little stash box there, I had these little bits that were left over from a scrapbooking page that I made a very long time ago. They're more or less, um, I don't know if you, they were frilly, but it was all these little I don't know, the paper I'd cut it with my scissors in lots of different times and it gave this little drill effect. I love that. And finally, it's been used up. I did cut it down a bit and made it into threes and it just I just love the added texture that that little piece of paper gave. So I love my butterfly and now I'm just going to think about what I'm going to do with it. So I decided that I was going to use one of my sprays in blue love that blue color and once again i'm just picking up any other color that might be on the mat and there's greens and yellows and that and i just love the the nice blended look that it gave to the butterfly so that's just a cheat way and you don't have to clean your mat every single time to change colors if the colors all work together usually you can just pick them all up in into all the other things it just gives a nice blended effect to the journaling and now I'm adding some um, collage glue there and adding this gorgeous product from Ranger. It's called Rock Candy. Absolutely love the sparkle that it gives. Look at that shine. Absolutely love it. So it's distress glitter. There you go. Distress glitter. I love that product. Um, Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft I bought it from and absolutely love it. So here we go again. I decided that that little antenna of the... Butterfly needed a bit more of a darker colour, so I think I added a bit of brown to it. Sticking everything down, and the message for myself for this layout, and that's usually what my journaling is about, so that's why I normally don't display it. It's about releasing the past. So I found these little, what are they? They're, they're stamps, but those, you know, the old fashioned wooden stamps. I've had them forever, they were actually gifted to me couple of years ago and I've never used them so I just thought you know what perfect for journaling so I don't show the whole, pro whole process I've just basically just made the title and the title is going to be release the past because that is what I'm really really trying to do just release the past move forward with the new decade and let's hope it's a damn good one so now it's time to add a bit more interest and I want to work on the edges. So I'm using the, I think it's the walnut stain from the uh, from the Ranger Distress, Distress Spray Stains. I can never say that. It's a bit of a tongue twister. So as you can see, I'm just using a paintbrush and just inking all around it. And then I decided I wanted a bit more interest. So I just get a some water, spray it on and just let it drip down. I always have a little tissue handy when I'm journaling just to pick up any drips that I don't think should be there. So it's sort of, I like to call it my journaling messy but contained because I like things to look like, you know, everything just poured down but at the same time I'm manipulating where everything goes. Does that make sense? Anyway, it does in my head but I don't think the, I got the right words out. So everyone, I hope that the start of 2020 has been great for everybody. I think we're about two weeks in by the time this journal goes live. And yeah, so far, so good. I've had a bit of a break. Uh, my family went away camping. I stayed back home because of the fires. We decided that I would stay home just in case anything happened and we were affected. I could evacuate the animals. So... If the fires get too close for comfort, my car is packed. I have my, well, I've got our documents all ready to go. All I have to do is put the cat, the dog, 
for the two dogs in the car and run. I'm not going to stay and fight, I'm just going to run. For US audiences that don't know, Australia has got many, many bushfires burning. It's uh, quite a bit of a sad time. We've lost so much wildlife, it's not funny. I'm in the Hawkesbury area and we've had the Gos Gosper Mountain that's been lit and lots of Hectors have gone there, um, wildlife, our koalas, kangaroos, what our deers, it's really quite sad. I normally drive at night going to work and all that and I swear I have not seen a kangaroo in the last couple of weeks which makes me quite worried and I just hope that we can bring them all back. So yeah, anyway, I went out, I went on a side tangent there, I'm so sorry, back to the journal. And here I am just using one of my distress crayons in brown just to add a bit more interest. And I sometimes, because I've got long nails on at the moment, I couldn't really get in there. And so I just used a um, little cotton bud tip there to help me smudge all that lovely colour in. And I decided that I'd be one of the insides of the butterfly to have a bit more brown. So that's all I'm doing there with a little bit of a paintbrush and some of that, um, I believe it's walnut stain or it might be vintage photo. I'm not really sure and I believe this is the end so thank you all for watching um anyone that watches mainly my for my scrapbook layouts I'm sorry but I decided to do something a little bit different I hope you don't mind anyway let me know what you think of this journaling and for anybody that's also stuck in the past please release the past move forward new decade new everything so let's go in, in with a positive frame of mind well, thank you all. Please subscribe to my channel. 2020 is the year that I grow it. I hope so anyway. Fingers crossed. And here are some still shots. So thank you all so much. And until my next video, take care everybody.